afternoon or good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Supercars of London from the inside of a Lamborghini Huracan. Craig, the sales manager at Lamborghini Panbon, which you all now know or should have known, it is my favourite dealer. I'm in the passenger seat because I want to give you guys a feel of what is going to be happening on Supercars of London in 2017. Craig has managed to, what, magic something, haven't you? Definitely come up with something for you. So you've come up with uh, you've come up with the goods. I've been visiting Lamborghini Panbon for what, 18 months now, like with friends that have collected cars from you, and I'm just like there, going, one day it needs to be me. And this video is not only announcing the car that I have bought, the spec that I have bought it, and now we have all the information that we need to make this video. Otherwise, I would have put it in the other video of when it should be arriving. Definitely. We're relying on the Italians. <laughs> uh, so that's fine. That's fine. We've got dates. Have you got faith? They know the importance. <laughs> I have got faith. I have got faith. They know so the importance. They know the importance, yeah. Today we are actually going to be building the exact car that is coming brand new from the Lamborghini factory in Bologna. It certainly is. Untouched. It will be the first person to uh, after the test driver. Turn the wheels. Here's some of this. <laughs> oh man, there is something about naturally aspirated engines, but the V10 in particular is like so punchy. Definitely. I find more punchy than the Aventador. Yeah, I mean, Hurricane itself has 74% of its maximum torque at idle. So when you, even when you're at a standstill, the car is, is full of energy, ready to go. Yeah. So it's an incredible machine. <laughs> I wish I caught that on camera, but anyway, Craig has offered to allow me to drive back the long way back to Lamborghini Pangborn. The fun way. The fun way. I'll control the windows. Yes. As you go through the tunnel, it drops down to a left bend. Okay. Uh, third gear is perfect for it. If we go through the tunnel in a second, I'll tell you when. So we go no full throttle, go. So I've just come back from the incredible Lamborghini Pangborn test drive route and Tony is here. There's also an Aston Martin driving past. There he is. Hello. <laughs> and what have you come in? Oh, just an old Mini. Oh, okay. Oh, that's, why it's, that's why it's down the back. That's why I put it down the back. Yeah. Ah, okay, so nothing as... Uh, nothing exotic. As exotic as the AMG GTS. I think now we can uh, tell something exciting. You've been out. I've been out in it. I've, I've just driven the 610-4. Incredible, but... For the first time ever, we can, I can, Tony can, Lamborghini Pangborn can reveal that I have bought a Lamborghini LP 580 2 Hurricane. Wow! Congratulations! Crowd screams! <laughs> Crowd. Oh my god, I'm so excited. The 610 4, incredible car, but for me, for some reason, Dash 2 just is a little bit more, has a little bit more edge to it a little bit, bit more, more fear a bit more frightening so uh there we go an lp 580 2 is landing at lamborghini pangborn very very soon we're now going to go and head into the spec room where craig is loading up an lp 580 2 so we can put the entire spec onto the car and then at the end of the video i'll announce sort of when is it when it's expected to arrive so let's go and uh head into the spec room and uh spec my car up let's do it <laughs> Craig is just printing off the exact spec of the 580-2 that will be arriving at some point in March. And this car is pre-spec, so this car was specced by by Craig and was supposed to be the demonstrator for Pangborn. However, I jumped in there first, so you're not even gonna have it as a demonstrator. I apologize. Okay, so we start initially with the color. 
important part, I think. So the colour on this is the Arantia Boralis, which is the three-stage pearl orange. Nice. Fantastic colour. Um, currently the car's equipped as standard with 19 inch wheels, but your vehicle, can I say it's your vehicle? You can say it's my vehicle. It's your vehicle. <laughs> it has the optional 20 inch Mimas wheel, which is 1.5 kilogram lighter per wheel. So it's a total weight saving of six kilograms. So you have an even lighter 580. <laughs> um, and then the question is, is whether you leave them silver or you go black, but I'm sure. Ooh. I'm sure there'll be a, a bit of debate black. with that one. Black looks good, man. Black looks good. Black looks good. Okay, so let's leave them black currently. The exterior, that's how the exterior is going to look. So if we look from the front as well, it's quite menacing with that two wheel drive. Yeah. So the 580's got a different front bumper, a lot more aggressive in the way it looks. So standard, the car comes black leather. This vehicle has the optional uh, stitching, which allows it to to burst out a little bit with colour, so you've got the nice Arancio stitching which matches yet again the colours of the calipers and also the colour of the exterior of the car. <coughs> um, a nice to have, I would say, there's an option there called Brandon Package that this car is equipped with, which puts the crests on the head restraints embossed. Let me try to zoom in on that. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah. Yeah. And got also, it. Impo got it. importantly, in front of the dash as well, just above the glove box, there's a Lamborghini logo on the hexagonal design panel. And while we're at this angle, this car also has the uh, more expensive floor mats, which I think add a nice bit of colour. Yeah. Uh, has the leather piping with double stitch floor mats, yet again finished with a ranchier stitching around the outer edge. And then the Hurricane, just in case you forget what you're getting into, uh, written on the mat as well, the tri-colour. So Paul, are you happy with yes. your final configuration? That looks so good. does not it? And yeah, like you said, it, no. A computerized image is never ever going to do it justice of when it's actually in front of your no, eyes. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I absolutely love that it is like a proper Lambo color, this orange. Like, a black car would be cool because then I'll just wrap it, but actually to have a car and not wrap it straight away is quite exciting. And because it's a new car, it kind of makes sense yeah. to have a color that I like. So, uh. Good for retail as well, right? Yeah, Lamborghini, yeah. Yeah. Lamborghini Pearl colors sell very, very well. Green and orange, in my opinion, is a very strong, really good resale colour for. You could be my first for resale. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> Let us deliver it first. Yeah. <laughs> so on the note of delivery, so the car is due to leave Italy uh, three to four days, sub, you know, prior to 15th, 16th of March. Okay. So looking at the the week commencing like the 20th of March. Exactly. Right. So yeah. end of March. End of March is when that car is turning up. Do we call Fingers that? Crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Fingers yeah. crossed. Yeah, it will arrive in a white bag, so that'll be quite exciting. Yeah, I'll, I'll be. <laughs> <laughs> it does. Honestly, it arrives in a white. So excited to see it. Well, Woo thank you very much. much. Look awesome. forward to uh, a couple of weeks' time. Yeah. yeah, not long. And there we have it. What? Uh, what? What a fabulous day it is. Blue skies, sunshine, arguably the perfect weather for a bright orange rear wheel drive Lamborghini Huracan. And it is an incredible feeling to know that that car is still being built at the factory and will land mid to end of March. And it is just something to look forward to, something to work towards, and something I am so goddamn excited about. Hopefully, you guys are as well. Craig is, Tony is, and together, they've absolutely smashed it. So I cannot wait for the coming weeks to come. I can't wait to get out to Geneva and see the rear wheel drive spider. And there's just lots of exciting things coming up. Content wise coming very soon in terms of following this process. We're trying to organize to get out to the factory so that we can see the car roll off the production line and into the ad person and studio. So we're working our socks off or Craig is, Antonio is, to arrange that with the Lamborghini factory. So hopefully we can head over to Bologna and see my Lamborghini before it arrives in the UK. But I'm so excited. And for those that are still watching, because I know that maybe some people might just switch off as soon as they've found out what color it is and what car it is. This is what I'm planning to do in homage to Valentino Balboni. And like I said, I really wanted the 550-2 Gallardo Balboni 
I want to put the Balboni stripe onto the rear wheel drive Hurricane as a tribute to Valentino Balboni and as a tribute to Lamborghini what they're doing with rear wheel drive cars because I think it is incredible and I just cannot wait to get my first few miles under its belt and turn traction control off. I mean on. I mean in sport mode. <laughs> It is going to be a lot of fun and I'm so excited that you guys are joining me on this journey of buying a brand new Lamborghini, my first brand new Lamborghini. So it's only right that I see it at the factory and oh, I cannot wait for collection day already. I cannot wait. It's going to be ridiculous. So stay tuned to Supercars of London. Please give it a thumbs up if you love an orange Lamborghini or comment below on what colour you would have specced from factory if you had the option of buying a Lamborghini brand new. What colour would you go for? I'm pretty happy with orange and I can't wait to Balboni it and make it look even more awesome ready for Top Marks 2017. And I'll see you all throughout this week and make sure that you follow me on Twitter, Instagram and everywhere else which you can find in the link below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you soon. Cheers guys. Woohoo!